Coach, uh, year two, you're here with uh, Vanderbilt football, of course, year two for you and the players and all, all the other coaches as well. Um, what have been some of the main differences for, for you as a coach, but also kind of recognizing uh, some maturity and some growth from, from your players in the program? Well, we, I mean, I think one of the, the big improvements is just the depth of relationship formed. There's, there's a higher level of understanding and awareness of expectations now. So we're just doing less of um, having to explain ourselves and more just uh, attacking what's in front of us. Um, you know, obviously for every member of this program, they've either been recruited into the program that exists or they've chosen to return. And that doesn't mean that we're perfect, but we have uh, far better alignment in year two. And, um, you know, both of those things lend themselves to maturity and advancement, you know, doesn't guarantee anything, but we, we feel like we've made good steps and we, we're fielding a faster team, a bigger team, a stronger team, um, but we're still going to have to go out there and fight for the results we want. Coach, at SEC Media Days in Atlanta, you made the statement of, in time, Vanderbilt football will, will become the best program in the country. Um, you know, obviously, there was a lot of reaction to that, but in your mind, you know, you've said that you believe that and the players believe it, the staff believes it, everybody believes that can happen. Um, so where did that come from? And um, is, that, is that down the road, that's potentially, that's, that's what you want to become? Well, it, it, um, I, I said it because I believe it. Um, I didn't say it for attention. I, I knew that you know, some people wouldn't know how to, to take that. But for me, I mean, um, like if you cut me open and I bled out, I would bleed that out. And I don't believe in being a part of anything that's not aspiring to be the, the best, the, you know, the standard, the level best. Um, that's just kind of who I am. And I think people that don't understand what I said, they, they just don't know me very well as a person. Um, I don't want people in this program that don't also share that belief. That's important. So we want to draw clear lines when it comes to that. Um, you know, we're not here to, to shoot for moral victories. We're not here to shoot for bowl bursts. We want to build a program that's sustaining success at a high level and uh, playing for championships. And we know that takes time, but progress is incremental and we're working to take those steps every day to um, to ensure that we, we over time will build that program it starts with the people that are in the program it starts with um, the staff that's around the players every day um, it starts with you know the way we design our structures and our strategies to make sure that we're giving our team a great chance to do it um, and over time you know we'll compound positive behaviors and positive actions and we believe that uh, we'll, have a, we'll have a program that's a force Coach, let's go to the quarterback position. Mike Wright, uh, obviously a lot of energy, uh, shows a lot of emotion, um, and you named him the, the starting quarterback in Atlanta at that time. Now, of course, there's still maybe some future announcements to be made, but uh, what have you seen from him and, and his growth at this point in his career, uh, heading in, of course, to week, week zero? Well, he's, he's established himself as a playmaker. I thought he did that last season when he had the opportunity with the ball in his hand. He was dynamic, and, um, you know, he... he he can change the game running. I think that we've seen him grow into a more complete quarterback. Uh, it's important because, you know, um, we've got, you know, 10 other guys on the field that he needs to strengthen in his performance. Um, we got a receiver group that's coming on and we feel like has a chance to, to um, you know, to, to have some playmakers in that unit as well. And so Mike's responsible for distributing the ball around to making sure he's making the right reads. Um, I've seen growth and maturity in that respect. Um, I also have seen growth and maturity as a leader in his leadership, which has been exciting, which is obviously important. Um, but you know, I, I, I got to also say that um, you know Ken Seals has answered the bell, and AJ Swan keeps coming on as a as a freshman. And so um, you know we're gonna you know obviously go into Hawaii with a with an airtight plan, and we feel like Mike gives us a great chance um, at the start of the season. But we're we're also working through the process of, um, you know, making sure there, there's sustained competition in that room and that, you know, uh, whoever is, is out there taking the snaps has to earn it every single day. Coach, I was talking to Mike Scholl, your SID, uh, during practice. I said, what a, what a fun way to start the season, uh, almost like a bowl trip uh, at, at Hawaii. You guys will leave on Sunday. Um, so obviously a long trip. I heard it was a nine-hour flight uh, ahead of you guys. Uh, but what, what are you excited about for that trip? But also what are some of the challenges that, that go along with that? Well, I'm excited to, to be heading into game week. Um, you know, I would, I, I, listen, I, I prefer to go to Hawaii on vacation. This is, <laughs> this is 
going to be more stressful than fun for me, but that, that's the nature of my job. Um, I do think that it'll provide us an opportunity to bond as a team, to get um, out of town and to do something that, um, you know, where we, we have the chance to, to spend time away from football and immerse in a different culture and a different environment. Um, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but, you know, I think the, when, you, when you start talking about the outcome of the game, I think the trip is the first opponent. You know, we have to, we have to handle the trip out there very well. We have to handle the distractions that we'll be immersed in. Um, and we're a young team, you know, and so we need to show a level of maturity here because if we don't, then it's going to come back to haunt us uh, when we tee it up to play. Um, I believe that we can, but, you know, we need to make belief a practice and show, show the behaviors and actions that a mature team, a team that's on a business trip to win, um, you know, would demonstrate. Coach, you talked about the goals for Hawaii here in week zero coming up, but what are the goals overall for your team this season? Uh, obviously, it's year two. There's things you guys want to accomplish, um, but what are some, some realistic goals that you guys feel like you can accomplish uh, here ahead of the season? Well, we, we've kind of stated one goal, and we talk about it every day, and that's just like to find our highest level as a team. And part of that is the idea that too often in our past, you know, Vanderbilt football has, has defeated Vanderbilt football. You know, we, we have to make sure that we're channeled into our systems, that we have fundamental technical expertise, that we've, that we've mastered our structures and schemes and strategies so that all our energy is focused on measuring our preparation against our opponent. Um, if we can do that, we think we're capable of, of um, some great results along the way. If we can't, then we'll be inconsistent, and a young team that's inconsistent is going to have a tough road. And so I think our margins are razor thin here. I think we have to go out and grab every advantage we can. But also I'm excited. I'm excited about um, the way the teams come together through camp, uh, playmakers that have emerged. I'm excited the confidence that we're moving around with. And, you know, we have to make sure we stay true and committed to that journey and that process to to hopefully get to that point where we're playing at the highest level as a, as a team. Coach, real quick here before I let you go, the new pictures of the, of the new turf field uh, were, were released. I don't have the midfield logo yet, so waiting on that. But does that kind of signify a little bit of what's in the future and kind of the new things to come at, at Vanderbilt Stadium? Yeah, I mean, I, I listen, you know, I think anything we can do to just polish up and to, and to show how important the small details are to us here, whether that's, you know, getting the new logo out, whether that's getting the new logo around our practice facility, whether that's, you know, um, getting a, a you know, fresh turf in and, and something that's going to hopefully uh, glow on game day and, and um, again, represent a first-class program at a first-class university. So uh, I celebrate um, the smallest of changes because over time they compound to, to make a big difference and to, and to drive this program to the top. 11 days away from Vanderbilt in Hawaii. That'll be a 9.30 p.m. Eastern time kickoff on Saturday, two weeks away, uh, shorter than two weeks away. Coach, thanks for taking the time. Great to be with you.